Strategically, it strengthens connectivity to ports and naval bases along the Arabian Sea, enhancing maritime security. Economically, it links major hubs like Mundra, Mumbai, Mangaluru, Kochi, and Thuthukudi, boosting trade, tourism, and fisheries, while also opening up opportunities for smaller coastal towns and villages. Project Alignment, Gujarat Segment The coastal highway begins at Manvi, near the Ran of Kutch, tracing the Gulf of Kutch and Gulf of Kumbat. This stretch connects major ports like Kandla, Mundra, Dahej, and Hajira, while linking SEZs, petrochemical hubs, and fishing harbors, emphasizing Gujarat's role as an industrial and maritime gateway before the highway enters Maharashtra. Maharashtra Segment In Maharashtra, the highway winds along the Konkan coast, passing Ullabagh, Ratnagiri, and Sindhudurg. Several sea bridges, tunnels, and bypasses are planned to navigate the hilly terrain and rivers. It links directly with Mumbai's coastal road network and NH-66, ensuring smooth connectivity from Gujarat to Goa. Key infrastructure like the Versova, Bandra Sea Link, Mumbai Coastal Road, and Trans Harbour Link positions Mumbai as the central hub of the Western Coastal Corridor. Karnataka segment Once it crosses into Karnataka, the route follows the pristine Karavali coast, connecting Karvar, Udupi, and Mangaluru. This section is critical because it links major ports like New Mangalore Port and upcoming fishing and cargo terminals, while also promoting tourism and marine industries. The state plans to integrate it with coastal tourism circuits, making this stretch a potential global attraction for coastal drives. Here, the highway will link to the East Coast Road, ECR, and NH-44, creating a continuous coastal connection from Dvarka in Gujarat to Kanyakumari, effectively uniting the entire western and southern coastal belt.